Hi, Christina from Proverbs 31 Woman here. And today I want to talk to you a little bit about how to ensure that your canned goods are safe to eat. This applies both to home canned goods, like these peaches and this applesauce that I did a few years ago, but it also applies to canned goods that you buy in the store, or many of the aspects will. Because things happen. Maybe the jar gets dropped or bumped or, you know, they're improperly stored. Things can happen that will make the food unsafe. So when you pick up your peaches or whatever you have in your pantry and you're ready to open them and eat them, you should examine the jar. So the first thing that I look for is any leakage. Because obviously if there's food leaking out of the jar, the seal has broken, who knows when that happened, it is definitely not safe to eat. Um, I also look for home canned goods to see that the lid is concave. Um, that means that there's a good seal in place. Um, you would also check to make sure that the lid, whether it's home canned or store bought, isn't bulging because that means the food has gone bad inside and it's produced gases and it's causing the lid to bulge up. Definitely not safe, throw it away. Um, then when you open a home canned jar of food, you want to pay attention to how the lid comes off. If it comes off really easily, then don't eat it. It's probably not safe. It didn't have a good seal. Um, another thing you want to look for is does the food explode out of the jar? That means pressure has built up from gases, from food rotting. Not safe at all. A few other things you can look for when you open the lid, how it smells. Does it smell just off or weird? Then don't eat it. Is it bubbly? Is it moldy or scummy? All those things indicate bad food. Don't taste it. It's not worth it. You just need to throw it away. Now, nobody likes to talk about the B word, botulism, but it does happen. And it happens most in home canned foods when it's been improperly canned. Um, that means you aren't following the current guidelines for canning. Yeah, grandma might have done it, but that doesn't mean that it's truly safe. For one thing, grandma boiled her food like crazy after she opened the jar, so that killed a lot of the bad bugs. But also, grandma got sick a lot and didn't realize that it was from her home canned food. So nothing, no method, no food is worth canning improperly because you might kill somebody. <laughs> so that is always my guideline. I hope you'll adopt that as well. If you do happen to find food that doesn't pass the criteria of being safe by looking at the lid and the opening of the lid and the smell and the look of the food, then the safe thing to do is treat it like it has botulism. So botulism can get in through your skin. So the first thing you wanna do is put on a pair of gloves. And then you're gonna put the jar, not just to open it up and take the food out, you're gonna take the jar, the whole thing, and put it in a nice big garbage bag and seal it off with tape. Then you wanna make sure that anything that jar touched, if it was leaking in particular, that it's all sanitized. And the way to do that is to use one part unscented chlorine beach bleach to five parts of water. Use that mixture, put it on the surface, let it sit for half an hour, um, and then you're gonna wipe it off and you're gonna do the same thing again. And you wanna make sure that any towels you use, sponges, gloves, all of that go in a garbage bag that gets sealed. Then everybody's safe. It's just to be cautious because nobody wants botulism. <laughs> anyway, I hope I've answered your questions and if you have more canning questions, be sure to let me know in the comments. Also check out my blog. I have an article there about botulism, sort of dispelling some of the myths and helping you understand it so that you're not overly fearful. There's no reason to be overly fearful. Um, I will put that link in the description. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.